Steve Jobs used to say, simple can be harder than complex. You have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. That's Steve Jobs' quote. Now, this video is about how to wireframe a website or an app. Now, there's a lot of videos talking about this, but I'm going to try to make it very simple because I, I do this frequently every time we ship products. How do you do it? So first, think about the flow, the flow of the user that you're going to do, right? So how is the user going to go and from which, which page to what? Then get a pen and paper and start just sketching it out. Start sketching out the pages. The key here is to finish. By that, I mean uh, you can try to work to perfect all of them first. Don't do that. Work to try to finish all the pages. I even frequently will write down, I'll say, okay, well, what pages are needed here? And I'll try to list out all the pages. Um, then once you finished all the pages and you know exactly all the pages and the flows of the product, once you've done that, then I want you to focus on the most important part, which is getting ideas from competitors and top sites, right? Every top website that you look up from, you know, like from Airbnb to Uber to Facebook to Twitter to Snapchat, every top product tested it a million times to make sure that it converts. So use their ideas for how to structure the layout of your pages. Like it's very, it's very straightforward and it cut down your time tremendously. When I did this before without using the strategy, basically looking at really successful websites, how is their layout, what type of content is where, because you can structure your pages the same exact way. Um, I failed when I didn't follow the strategy because I made some kind of design, the UI that didn't convert because it was more completely ours. So in this way, use competitors and use really big sites to get ideas from. That way you can make your pages the layout. I'm just talking about the layout of it more similar. Where's the button position? What's the text there? How's the screen look? How does the top banner? It'll cut your time tremendously. Uh, I also really enjoy doing it on the whiteboard. So once I've thought about the flow, whiteboard is really nice, right? To put the page on the whiteboard because you can quickly iterate and quickly tweak it. Uh, and also think about desktop and mobile. So for me, each page that I'm designing, I'm kind of picturing it. Okay, so first I'll do it potentially in desktop, but then I'll tweak it. How will it also work on mobile? You got to think about both. Um, and one thing I want you to keep in mind here is uh, Kevin Systrom, who's the uh, co-founder of Instagram and Steve Jobs rule for this. Kevin Systrom said that it's not what you add, it's what everything you take away that actually matters, right? So the more you add to your product, the worse you make in your product. What it should be about is the core value and then trim down everything you can to make just about the core value. So Kevin Systrom said, it wasn't what we added to Instagram. It was everything we, 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 we took away because they try to simplify to make it the simplest possible. And Steve Jobs used to have a three click rule. The three click rule is the user can never click more than three times to get exactly what he wants. And I want you to remember these two rules as you're doing it. And the flow for wireframing is basically you wireframe, which is designing all the pages, right? And you'll have sketched up all the pages. Then once I have sketched up all the pages, I send it to my graphic designer. Then my graphic designer will actually make those pages the design, right? That's the pretty, how it looks with all the colors and everything's filled out. Then once it's designed, I give it to my engineers and the engineers will actually ship that to live. That's the flow of the wireframes. Hey guys, and I wanna mention that the sponsor of this video is Bubble.is. Now, if you have a project that you've always wanted to build, like a marketplace, or a social network, or a SaaS tool. If you wanna build these kind of complicated web applications, how do you do it? How would you make it, right? Like you'd have to hire a lot of engineers, and that's very expensive. It's very like time to find them, to hire them for them to build, it takes a lot of time. You can use Bubble and do it yourself. Bubble's a code-free programming language that you can learn in four to five hours. Five hours you can learn code-free, meaning it's kind of almost drag and drop type of strategy. Drag and drop, dude. In five hours, you can learn how to use it and you can build your own SaaS product, your marketplace you've always wanted to build, your the social network that you felt that was needed and you can do this via bubble. Uh, so cool. And, and, and what's meaningful is also to note, Emmanuel told me, the uh, you know, founder of Bubble, he said, there's a business uh, who uses Bubble who raised $300 million. They're built on Bubble and still run on Bubble. So you can use this, this tool, whether you're just to hack your MVP or if you want to, you know, if you have a kind of a successful company, like a big, big late stage company you want to build. So Bubble works for either way. So if you need to ship something and if you want to get it out in the world now, you can use Bubble. Uh, I'll put the link for you in the description. It's bubble.is. And the, the main thing I want you to remember from this video is only one. And I would ask, who are you getting ideas from? That's the only thing. 
who are you getting your UI and your color and your placements and the, the, the ideas from? Who, which product? Because that's what it's all about. Because they tested it a million times. Now, no, for me, I was never actually able to hire this out. I don't have anyone who I can be like, hey, uh, make the wireframes for me. I was never able to outsource this job. I still do this job at my company, which means all the wireframes that we do, all the flows, the flow of the products and the layout, I still do to this day. So I was never able to outsource this job just for you if you're thinking about outsourcing this job. And the time to finish. Uh, you should be able to finish this in two days. The whole, I mean, no matter how complicated your product is, you should be able to finish this in two days. The reason two days, technically you should be able to finish it in one day. I can usually sit down and almost knock out any app any app or any website in one day. But then you gotta sleep on it because when you sleep on it, uh, you'll kind of assess it with a clear mind. You go through all the pages again, think about it again, and then ship it. So the time should be two days. Uh, and that's how you wireframe a website or an app. And the key thing I want you to remember is who are you getting the ideas from? Finding many competitors and just competitors and very successful sites and just take that. This channel is all about entrepreneurship and startups. If you enjoy watching about entrepreneurship and startups, subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, if you thought it was useful and you learned something from it, give it a thumbs up so this way I know that I'm on the right track because otherwise I'll, I'll tweak my videos, right? Uh, if you have questions, comment below and I'll answer you. And thank you so much for watching.